hey guys what's up and welcome to this new tutorial video so in this tutorial video i will be showing how i made the scene in which the beast erupts out of the ground and uh, here it is you can see as the beast erupts out of the ground the earth sort of like explodes and uh, it turns into particles and goes on sides so in this tutorial i will mainly show that i will show how the earth breaks and uh, the rest is easy i mean the rest is the animation and that is not the part of this tutorial you don't need a model in this video you just need to have an object that will collide with another object and the breaking will happen so let's go so here is 3ds max and uh, this is how it looks when you open it so first of all I will create a box that's it okay now now next thing that I will do is I will create a plan below it so that this plan pieces will rest on that it will not fall down by the force of the gravity so there it is you can see it is slightly visible under that so select that and just move it a few points up so it is now not visible from below that is just its sound line you can see it is not visible and now what I will do is I will create a box and this will act as a virtual monster or a virtual beast that will come out of the ground so I actually have did this myself for the movie I did not use the beast as a collider I used a simple box that collide with the with this other box and uh, it breaks so just make it shape like the pieces does not stay on it and make it like a, a bullet shape so bring it down and now I will set the keys so turn on the auto key and uh, a few frames forward move it up and now just let it stay there and then come back down so let's see it well it's pretty fast and it will just erupt all of the particles out so I will space them up and that will be good okay so now is the time for the ray fire so here is a plugin that you will have to install externally i will leave a link in the description so you can download it from there you can click that and you can install it it will be available in here so let's move forward so select that and then ray fire plotter and this window will open so here you will have to assign the objects to this ray fire so first i will assign the kinematics object that will move with the keys so there i added it to the kinematics now i will add the static objects to it also the plan is static so it is added to it and now this is a dynamic object which will move with the forces now set the time from 0 to 100 and come down turn the demolition on it means that when the geometry collides it will break on impact and in the fragments 
select the impact point so it will break right at the point where it meets there you see it will break right at that point okay so now we can uh, start the animation click on that back button and it will start and there you see it just went up and it breaks after some time so that's not good it was needed to break right with the collision there you can see so I have passed the animation now I will cancel it and everything will be reset those particles are gone now in the physics tab come down and it will be set to zero which means that velocity has no impact on it so just give it a little value and there you see now with a small velocity it breaks and that's it so now this is not completely good because the object does not come out of it completely there you can see ok so here with some different keys now I will make it as it reaches up there and it will stay up because the monster will have to stay up after it comes out of the ground and also you can just add a little rotation to it so the particles will move in different directions and with this the particles will not stay on top of this object they will fall on through the sides of it here you can see I'm just adding some random animations to it rotations ok now come into the physics settings and uh, the velocity set it to 100 and now click on back and now you can see what happens the breaking happens right at the impact so now this is good you can see from different viewports and this looks really satisfying you just need to replace the monster or any other character with that with that other uh, object that is coming through okay now I have cancelled that also so now I will increase the depth level I have set it to 2 what it means is that when the object breaks once so that object will break second time also like an object will not break just once it will break twice on the second collision also so that's what the depth level means so there in the fragments uh, I changed the divergence and also changed the up springs to 10 that's will be enough so now start it and there you can see it breaks right at the impact point the other points also break but uh, that's not really important what's important is that the object coming out of that and the good thing is you can interact with the viewport while it is simulating so 
there you can see I just changed the display quality and it has nearly finished the processing and that's it within a hundred frames it has finished the processing and let's play it and it's really nice it looks very cool and pretty much realistic and there a small particle just lifts on top of that there you can see you can hide that main body so there is an invalid particle out there you can hide that it will not be visible in the render that one just hide it and we will get rid of that magic it looks very cool though let me play it in the slow motion and oh this is really nice okay that's it that, that's enough okay now you can just minimize that window and do the rest of the work so select all of the objects and deselect that plan now we will apply the material so press M and uh, here apply that material so what I will do now is for diffuse map I will select a map that I have captured from that video I have taken a screenshot of that so here I will select that snapshot and from this come down here and uh, we can crop it there you can see the whole image is displayed on top of that so we will crop some area of it there you can see an outline is present there you can just position it and that will be enough because when you see from this angle it will look it will look perspective correct because that's images from this angle right let me play it in the normal speed ok now in the material editor just drag that map onto bump map also so it will create a bump map for it now I will insert a skylight that's what I have done in my short movie I am doing exactly the same procedure here I had inserted two lights one was the skylight and one was this direct light and uh, the intensity you will just correct it to your scene that depends on your scene in the skylight turn on the shadows and the rest sample to 5 and the resolution to 16 ratio 9 there you can see ok the light the direct light shadow is off so turn that on and select the area shadows that works better so here you can see I will just scale it a little and apply material to it this one and in here select the matte shadow this is just for casting the shadows and it is a transparent material and now this one I'm making this for the background just drag it on that and select instance in one background and it will be visible in the viewport 
and make sure to select the environment head here so it now it is same as this and that's the render it looks very nice to eyes by the way you can find a better view for the rendering with more particles in the scene okay so that's it now what i have done is i have made that object visible again now i will render the whole scene and in the files type in the name to which you want to render it just that and select the avi format okay and click on render and that's it so thanks for watching and like the video and you can watch my other tutorials and uh, short movies i'm sure you would uh, click on that subscribe button